Thanks, that family. Now we're on the fun boat. My favorite, the Avalanche. Um, as I've told Rob, this is without a doubt the boat I would have. One thing I didn't point out to in the back one, I'm going to have Jerry coming here a little closer. Um, this, this whole swim deck, if you're looking for storage, is removable simply by one pin, both sides. It's solid, it's in there, but when you take this pin out, it pulls right out. It does take two people to do it correctly. Um, but this can all come off of here if you're looking for storage room. Part of the bling bling package that we were talking about, Rob and I, would be this rear seat. Um, it is very nice. Sit down, put your board on, do some of that kind of stuff. It gives you a good spot to relax and, and get ready for what you're doing. Once again, both sides have the, the ballast system in them. Um, great, great stuff. Hard tape, just like in the other boat. As we get up in the boat, one of the things I really want to show you, one of, one of the things that I find most important with the boat is, once again, being able to pull in and out of that lift and do it in ease. I did loosen these up already. Just a matter of turning these both sides. I just gave them a quick twist. I want to show you how easy this comes down. Set it right down. Drive into your lift. You now no longer have any worries. This is your top height right here. Makes it nice and simple. Going back up, same thing. Set it right back up. I should have probably done it one arm so you guys could have seen it. Just simply tighten these up and away we go. Um, one of the features that Rob and I haven't really had a chance to talk about are the swivels for the board racks. This is something that on my boat would be a must. Um, we're looking at the possibility of taking these off between the two of us. But your boards are sitting out here. All you've got to do is push the button right here. In comes your board rack. You can pull your boards right out of it. It makes it nice and easy. I should have thrown a board in here to show you guys how easy that is. Um, it's a great feature. Get back out to the outside and they're out of the way. Pretty much, you know, fairly similar boats to what we saw in the Elite V. This one is a lot wider, a lot roomier. Um, with the 100 inch beam, you can see there's definitely a bit more room. Have the same cooler in the front. We do add a couple, couple nice options up in front. I'm gonna steal this from Jerry again and show you. As we get up to the front of the boat, you can see the nice four cup holders with the great seating. I mean, I, I'm sitting here right now. There's definitely room for another one next to me and two across from me. Foot space would get a little tight, but you've got room up in the bow of this boat to do some work. Once again, same beautiful cooler. Part of the bling 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 package, excuse me, as we come back here, is all of the chrome on the boat. You'll see the chrome steps, the chrome in the glove box. Um, we've got the chrome, the chrome side steps as we get in and out of the boat. Good spot to jump in with. Look at that beautiful hard top. Look at how nice and concealed all of this is back here. All you gotta do is pop her open. There's the stuff you've got stored in there. Underneath that is our solid tank. Um, so we've got storage room, it's concealed, doesn't look sloppy. What's that? Yep, and you can walk, Jerry was just saying, you can flip this up so that you're not getting your vinyls all full of everything and actually walk right across this, which is a nice little step. That way you're not having to wipe down your vinyls all the time, because it is important to take care of a boat like this, that's for sure. <clears throat> A um, couple of the nice little features of this boat, you'll, you'll look at the dash, the radio, all of that. It is fairly similar to the Elite V. Um, you'll see we've got a ton of switches down here. This is going to be all your ballast. Your center, both your mid ballasts, and both your rear ballasts. These are the ones you're going to use the most. The ports are nice, and you'll always probably have the center full whenever you're looking for that big wake. Of course, your courtesy lights, docking lights, horns, bilge, navigation, anchor lights, your stereo switches. All of that right there. Another piece of the, the bling bling package right here. The chrome shifter looks good. Um, tilt steering, Bennett trim tab, your blower of course. Um, a lot of nice features on this boat. Real sharp looking dashes too. I don't know how this is going to show up on video. Um, but when you look at them gauges, they look real automotive style. Real sharp when you jump up in the boat. Once again, another huge area to store stuff, sunglasses, all that kind of important stuff. So, I think you guys would really love this boat. The snap-in carpet, again, is a feature that I would never buy any boat without. Um, number one, it's cool on your feet when you're in the hot, and it's not going to get wet and smell like a dog. I'm just going to jump down here and hand this to Jerry and let him do a quick walk around just so you can see more of the boat. It is beautiful.
see the only sticker, so to speak, on these bolts is right here in the decal. The rest of this boat is all in gel. All the graphics are flawlessly hand laid. Very good work they do over there. It's, it's amazing when you see one of these boats in person how sharp they are. Uh, once again, we've got the swing tongue. We've got the nice Fulton tongue jack, which works great. Um, I tell you, I can't wait to get you guys here in the store, be able to walk you through this boat, get you up in it, maybe get you out on the lake, whatever it takes. Um, I know you'll love it, and I appreciate the uh, time that you guys have spent with me here today. Hopefully we can see you soon.